Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but in today's video I am sharing some of my worst purchases that I've made for my home, things that I wish I didn't buy, and things that I should have bought instead. I want you to keep in mind that these items that I'm about to share are my mistakes, and you might actually love these items, or maybe you own something similar. It doesn't mean that you need to get rid of it because I don't like it. So this video is sponsored by Lenovo Yoga, but more on them later. Let's go ahead and get started with item number one. The first item that I wish I didn't buy for my home was this farmhouse dining table. <laughs> okay, I want you to sound off in the comments down below if you can see my home with this type of table. I actually got this table from World Market and we bought this when we first moved into our home. It was around the holidays and I was so impatient and I wanted to host Thanksgiving in our empty house. So I was like, yeah, babe, let's just buy a really cheap dining table and we can replace it in the future. And I feel like that concept of buying disposable furniture, disposable home decor is just not going to end well for anybody, okay? It's such a waste of money. I don't know what I was thinking. And instead of buying a table like this that was really ugly, okay? Just not my taste anymore. Mm, it's like not cute. <laughs> I should have bought something that was a little bit more whew, stylish. A shopping hack that has changed the game for me recently is trying to find really expensive furniture and then uploading it into Pinterest to find dupes. So let me go ahead and grab my Lenovo Yoga 7i so I can show you exactly what I mean. I have been using my Yoga 7i now for a couple of months and it is my go-to for all of my browsing and editing needs. It is a sleek two-in-one laptop that offers stylish portability. I've even taken it on a trip recently to California and the Yoga 7i has these subtly rounded edges. You guys know I love a good rounded edge designed to feel comfortable in your hand. Now, one of my favorite features is the 360 hinge that allows you to turn the Lenovo Yoga 7i into a tablet. It also has an ultra crisp display. So when I'm watching my favorite YouTube videos or watching movies during a road trip, it's just perfect. I also love the fingerprint recognition, so it makes getting into my laptop more safe, but a little bit easier for everyday use. Not only do I love browsing with the Yoga 7i, but I also love creating mood boards, and it's so easy for me to just like drag and drop and pinch and zoom, and <gasps> I also watch a lot of YouTube on my Yoga 7i, and the FHD display makes it so clean and crisp when I'm watching my favorite creators. Let's go ahead and open up Pinterest, which by the way, the screen is a touch screen, okay, it's so good. So what I like to do on Pinterest is I will upload really expensive furniture from my favorite stores, and when I wanna recreate that vibe, the search engine on Pinterest will actually find you the exact same kind of shape, silhouette, and vibe of whatever you're looking for at all sorts of different price points. So it doesn't matter what your budget is, you can find beautiful items using this hack. So if you are feeling inspired and you wanna check out the Yoga 7i, I will leave all of the links down below in my description box. This next item that I wish I didn't buy. <laughs> oh my God, okay. This faux fur stool from Pottery Barn. <laughs> It's so hairy, look at it. <laughs> that Pottery Barn stool was not cheap. I think it was like $300 each. Okay, super expensive. And listen, was that a fly? Oh my God, there's a fly in here. <laughs> Is it dead? Oh wait, it's still alive. Oh my gosh, last night a hummingbird flew into the house and I thought it was a giant moth. Girl. <laughs> okay, back to my faux fur stool. It is so ugly and the fur is just like, even though it's a good quality faux fur, it's meant to look like, um, like a Mongolian lamb fur. 
I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was thought, maybe I thought I was gonna like yodale, yodale, hee hoo, up in like a mountain cabin house. <laughs> you guys, okay? Don't buy the faux fur accessories. It's never gonna look luxe. It's never gonna look expensive. It's gonna look all matted and flat and like just not cute after you have it for a while. If you want that high texture in your home, I highly recommend you go for something that's boucle, okay? This is very trendy at the moment. I actually love boucle. I don't know what it is, it's just so soft and furry, it looks like a teddy bear. I'll link some of my favorite boucle accent pieces down below in the description box. I'm even thinking of getting a boucle sofa. Mm, I don't know, is that too much boucle? It's just, I love the boucle. I love the boucle. Let me know if you like boucle. Oh my God, there's a lot of boucle happening right now. Let me know if you like that texture. Are you over it? Do you like it? Do you like this trend? I don't know, I like it. Um, but yeah, faux fur, no, boucle, okay. <laughs> the next thing that I wish I didn't buy for my home was this Pier One cabinet. Now, okay, if you have been with me for a while, you would know that I loved this cabinet. I loved it. It was actually really good quality for something that came from Pier One. I bought it right when it opened up during the pandemic and it was like 60% off. So we bought it and the only reason why I wish I didn't, okay, was because of the size. <laughs> what? It was because it was a little bit small. I don't have a big, house by any means, but we do have taller ceilings. We have like longer walls. So to fill a wall with something that is really small, um, cabinet, not art, okay, stop, stop trying to come for me for my small vessels. That is, that's for fun. <laughs> and if you don't get it, you don't get it, okay? I don't know what to tell you. But the cabinet itself, because it was small, it was making our living room feel small. I even tried to mount like a bigger art piece on top of it. And I couldn't really like decorate it with like the large items that I loved. And when it comes to furniture, I actually would really highly recommend that you go bigger rather than smaller. Go as big as your space can allow because it will actually make your homes feel a lot more luxurious, a lot more um, expensive. I'm already looking at some new consoles and cabinets. I will link my favorites down below because they are good. They are stylish. Oh my God, the fly is still alive. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> oh my God, this video is gonna be great. <laughs> This next item that I wish I didn't buy is gonna be a little controversial, okay? And that is my Restoration Hardware Gilt Mirror. <sighs> the only reason why I wish I didn't buy it, it's too small. Now, there's a few sizes in this mirror. The, this is the medium size that I have here in my office, and I think it's like 79 inches high, which sounds like it's big, but, the mirror part is actually only like, I don't know, 50 inches. There's a theme here, okay? The bigger, the better. Say it with me, ladies. The bigger, the better. <laughs> so we did buy the bigger um, Louis Gilt mirror. We bought the large size, which I think is like 10 feet tall. It's in our bedroom, which we also are renovating the bedroom, by the way. And I'm gonna do a separate video for the bedroom and the bathroom. But yeah, we have a 10 foot mirror up there that literally reaches almost all the way up into the ceiling. And that one, ah, oh my God, it makes the bedroom feel so luxurious, larger than life. It's literally larger than life. Oh, and don't forget, don't buy it full price. Go to the outlet because it's 40% off when it makes it to the outlet. So the next thing that I wish I didn't buy for my home is this Saria rug. And when I saw this rug, my friend Hannah Naylor actually showed it on her stories. I about fell to the floor because the print is so me. It's hand knotted, so luxurious. And I think the original price for this rug was like 
five, six thousand dollars, and at Home Goods it was six hundred dollars. Now, okay, in this case, I wish I didn't buy it because it was actually way too big. It was way too big. I had it here in my office, and my office is not big. Also, the color. The color was like a really dark, almost chocolatey brown, and I've learned that if you have a small space, dark rugs are probably not the best idea, okay? It just kind of dwarfed my office. It made it feel smaller, and it made it feel dark and dingy and just not the vibe. Now, what I should have bought was one, the right size rug, and usually, usually, an eight by 10 is a good standard size for like a standard home. I have tried over 15 rugs here in my office and I've narrowed down my favorites. Most of them are quite affordable. I actually featured all of these rugs in my um, favorites rug video and you guys love them as well. They keep selling out on Rugs USA and for good reason, they are great. If you're going for um, a light colored rug, make sure you are putting it in a low traffic zone. This last item that I wish I didn't buy for my home is this stacked travertine pedestal. It sells online for really expensive. I got it locally for like $100 and travertine is like a big trend that's happening in the vintage um, world at the moment. You're seeing lots of travertine tables and consoles and lots of that stuff. Which, what do you think, by the way, of all the travertine popping up? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Does it remind you of like the 80s or 90s? Is it just like a hard pass for you? I liked it because it's so sculptural. I like things that are sculptural and have like really cool designs. But I wish I didn't buy this because it is heavy as hell. I think it's like 200 pounds and I change my mind all the time. I like moving things around, I like redecorating, and that pedestal is just too big for me to like push anywhere. I feel like I should have just waited, saved my money, and bought a marble pedestal, because that's what I really wanted, a tall, bold marble pedestal. And when you want a really specific look and a specific item, don't settle for less because you found something that was cheap. And trust me, you are eventually going to want to get rid of that filler piece and get the dream piece that you've been wanting forever. It'll feel like you bought that thing twice. And I've done that so many times um, in the last two years. I've learned a lot. I am simply here to share my personal mistakes my experiences and in hopes that you learn from them. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't go yet. Go ahead and watch my first Things I Wish I Didn't Buy video. This one I actually filmed, I don't know, a few months ago, but you guys loved it. And if you haven't seen it yet, check that out. Oh, and remember that all the things that I mentioned today that I recommended will be linked down below in the description box. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.